the lower astral plane. Between the physical and the lower astral, and within the astral itself, are trillions of frequencies, including lost, trapped, and evolving souls and malevolent entities. They are non-physical, but for a whole host of reasons, the bulk of them desire to live, have and experience the physical and material desires of the flesh. Whilst they are, for the most part, unable to actually see our world in detail, they can perceive the frequencies of human beings. They see our aura, for want of a better explanation. Because they are frequencies, they naturally have the ability, desire and attraction to like frequencies in the physical. Material and physical desire are, in and of themselves, merely frequencies. They are only manifest in the physical through the behaviour of physical beings, humans. But they are in origin and state purely energetic frequencies. And so it is that like in the physical attracts like in the astral. Attachments, links and even possessions occur because of such attraction. They merely vary in observable state according to the intensity of the frequency and its attachment. These incidents are not as rare as you might think. Eugene Murray, an exorcist, estimated back in the 1980s that over one quarter of the world's population has spirit attachments of one kind or another, that nearly every human being has some thought forms attached to them. And whilst they may not be particularly harmful in general, some can be extremely debilitating. Such debilitations from all attachments manifest in the physical in many ways, including stress, depression, anxiety, frustration, aggression, and even abuse and criminal behaviour. Such attachments can also lead to serious diseases and illnesses. Louise Hay and others believe that the majority of illness and disease is psychosomatic, and from a metaphysical viewpoint, 90% of the cause of disease in humanity is to be found in the astral body. Astral thought forms and elementals, by their very makeup and nature, have the ability and indeed the desire to attach themselves to human energetic fields. Any such attachment interrupts and interferes with the natural energetic state to varying degrees, from the subtle to the malevolent, from a stabbing pain in the body to a skin disorder, stomach and bowel diseases to cancer itself. All human disease comes from imbalance in one form or another in the physical body. All activity in the physical plane is derived from vibrational variations in either the physical, mental or emotional states. And by the very nature of our world, they have only one source of expression, through the behaviour, of either the being or its cells. That expression is the outward manifestation in physical form that we call illness and disease.